26 seconds, a new record. I've been playing mini cogs for the past week now, and it is so much fun. If you've been enjoying numbers versus words, then this is the puzzle for you. It's really easy to play. Just tap the cog to rotate each two by two grid until all of the letters correctly spell out words. Focusing on the top left, CH feels like it could be the start of a word, and then vertically we have CU, so let's lock that one in. C-U-C-I doesn't look great, but if we rotate a few times, we get C-U-T-O, and then rotating the bottom, we can get the word cut off. Now going back to the top, we've got C-H, couple of rotations in the middle give us C-H-E-E, -E, and of course, the word is cheese. So obviously, to succeed at minicogs, you need to know your words. But there's also some neat mathematics we can look at around strategy. Is it better to focus on the words around the edge, or should we instead look at those in the middle? Naturally, I've done the maths. There are a total of nine cogs, and each cog has four possible positions. It represents a two by two grid. So therefore, we have four choices for the first cog, four choices for the second, four choices for the third, up to the ninth, and we multiply these together. So that's four multiplied by itself nine times, 4 to the power 9 is 262,144 possible arrangements of the mini cogs grid. Which basically means clicking randomly is not going to help. Based on my own performance over the past 7 days, it appears that focusing on the corner pieces can really help to unlock the puzzle, and in particular, that top left corner looking for common word beginnings can really make a difference, just as we saw previously with the word cheese. And the data supports this. Ignoring the anomaly that was day four, who knew that ADZ, A-D-Z-E, was a word? The line of best fit has a clear negative gradient of minus 3.8, which is suggesting that on average, I am improving by three to four seconds each day. Extrapolating this into the future, it means that at the end of next week, after 14 days, I will be solving a puzzle in approximately 6.8 seconds. A boy can dream. Go try it out for yourself now for free by heading to cogs.gg, that's cogs, C O G S dot G G, or by clicking the link at the top of the video description box below. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to know if you can beat my PB, which I just set today at 26 seconds. And I'd love to know if any of you can develop the optimal mathematical strategy. Have fun.